Welcome back to our short Dialogues Evo 1 presentation. I collected some tips and tricks for you, which I think are quite useful while working with our latest Dialogues version. My first tip for you is to create groups, because this is easier to select them. So, you may mark several objects together in Dialogues Evo with a Shift key. So, if you mark them, you can use in the Copy and Arrange tool the functionality to group them. Now Dialogues knows that they are according together and you can select them with a single mouse click. Nevertheless, the single object inside of the group is still available. So you can also select the single object, you can move it around to the position where you like to use it, but the group still exists, so it's up to you if you want to move the whole group or just the single object within the group. My next tip for you is how to use the copy and paste functionalities. Well, this tip brings us back to our little project here and we want to create the outdoor scenario and for that we want to place some trees. So we select here the object, we select the tree we want to use, this one, and we just can drag and drop it with a mouse here inside of our project. Now I use the right mouse to select the copy functionality. You can find it here, but you can also use uh, Ctrl and C. And you click here to paste or Ctrl V, and then of course the new object appears here at the old position and we can move it to the correct position. This is a functionality you already know from other programs. Once again here the third tree. But it's also possible to place the objects directly at the mouse position. So we use here the point place at mouse position, Ctrl M, and now Dialux selects the last mouse position and puts the object to this position. So it's up to you if you want to move your object around or if you directly want to place it to the correct position, which is quite useful, as I think. The next tip is about exchanging objects. So let's go back to our little project. You see here this chairs I used, and now I want to replace it by a different type of chair. Um, so I can remove all the chairs and place new ones, or I just use this little functionality, replace selected objects, or replace all objects of this type. What I want to do right now, now I have to select the new type from my recent list, for example. I select the correct one. And now I'll pre press here on Apply, and now all chairs will be changed to the new type which helps you to save a lot of time. Of course, this functionality also works with other objects. For example, luminaires. So let's go back to our light mode. And now we can replace this luminaires, of this type, to any other luminaire type that is listed in my recent list. Let's have a look. You can see of this luminaire, we have got two different types here in the list, this one and this one. And now I want to replace the first one, uh, the placed ones, against the new one. So just press on this action, select the new one, press on apply, and now Dialogs asks for recalculating the luminaire position. This is OK for us. And now you see that the new luminaire is placed here. There is a very simple way how to use views in Dialogs Evo, because we have a tool for this. Um, I just move the camera of the cat window to the correct position. This is the picture I want to keep. And now I can click on the tool where the views are placed. I save this view. Well, and this, that's it. Here is our first view. Now I change the camera, for example, I go to 
a special room, I go to three-dimensional view and I save this again as a view and there's a new little picture here on the list and I can do it again here for example this little office and this is a quite good view and I can save it and Dialux keeps it in mind for me and finally something like that preview of the outdoor scenario so what can we do right now with these views first of all I can go back to a special view so it's very easy to go back to special camera positions without using the normal navigation functionality but of course you can also use these pictures that was saved here you can also use in your documentation now we come to the end of our short dialogues evo presentation finally i've got here some nice projects that some of our customers made you can also find them in the gallery of our dialogues board on our web page here is another nice visualization it was made with dialogues evo and the internal ray tracer of the program and finally i've got here a bigger hall for you an entrance hall i hope you liked the presentation and if you've got any questions you're welcome to come to our chat room again thank you very much